We've been constructing the Sandhawk upper stage on the Terrier Sandhawk rocket kit from Locke. Um, at this point, we have glued in the engine mount and the electronics bay sled. And now we're going to put in the fins, and I'll do that right after this short announcement. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Uh, we're now at the point where we're going to glue the, the fins into the slots. Um, now the way these go in, um, we can't interfere with the shoulder. And if you see when we put the shoulder in, we can see it through the slot. And the fins have tabs on them, but the tabs are really short compared to that shoulder. So yes, they will go in just fine. Uh, we just need to make sure that we don't get any glue like from here down on the rocket. So, you know, like right here, right there, right there, right there. Nothing behind that line. Um, in fact, I want to stay as far forward of that line as possible. Now, on the last time when we glued this um, engine mount in, we didn't get any epoxy on the outside of that ring there because if we would have put that there we would have slid it all the way forward and it would have came out here. Um, so what I want to do is to put some epoxy and I'm using the rocket epoxy again. Um, I want to try to get it into that slot. But I want to put a lot of it right at the front. And then so hopefully it will go around the perimeter enough to get enough epoxy on that back centering ring. I'm not worried about it too much because these are through the wall fins and the, um, the fin tab itself is going to hold it down. You can see I'm getting it all over the tube. I'll clean that up later. Don't worry about that. Um, I am lifting it off the table to try to keep the mess off the table as much as possible. You can also see that I've got it kind of tilted so that it rolls this way. Um, at this point, I do need to... Yeah, that's not good using a transition. So I'll use a... a knife. Okay, now I'm going to butter up my slots here, or my, my tabs. I'm going to make sure I get the bottom edge. That's the most important one here. Any that I put on the side is just going to ooze out. Okay, and I want this back edge here flush with the back of the tube. Okay, just like that. And now it wants to roll. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the other ones and then we'll clean up. Okay, I got all the fins in. Um, I'm going to try to clean up most of this epoxy right now. I am going to wait until later to put the fillets on. So I'm going to wait until all this cures. Okay, so I've got epoxy on the fin taps. Um, now I want to stand it up like this, and this is the way I'm going to let it harden uh, so that any epoxy that is excess will ooze down the inside and then feel around that centering ring right there. Um, I just want to make sure before I set it down for the night that all the fins are perpendicular to each other. And we're 
we're just eyeballing it and that will be pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to let that harden um, and after this short announcement, we'll come back. This will be hard and I will put on the thin fillets. <laughs>